Welcome to House Cat Studio. Well, my uh, my roommate's bedroom. Anyway, it's a studio. It's got a lot of nice stuff in it. Um, I'm going to show you folks how to save grades so that you can use different grades you've created that you may be attached to or feel like will work in a variety of situations. So you can use those from project to project. Um, I've got a clip open here. I'm in my color timeline or in my color window. And uh, I've gone ahead and I've already balanced this clip. So you can see before, there we go, and I've expanded the color information to get full range of the you know, grayscale using my scopes. So now that I've done that, this is going to come back around here in a second. You're going to see why I'm making such a fuss about this primary correction. I'm going to go ahead and add a new node. And from, from here on, on out, I'm, I'd be building my grade. So anything past node 1 is going to be a part, or considered a part of my, my grade that I'm going to save. This way, when you go and apply this grade to a different clip, you're going to assume with that, or the way I do it, is I make sure to go ahead and do a primary grade on that clip before I add my my saved grade, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I'm going to go back to the second clip, and I'm going to do some quick adjustments. I'm not going to really make anything that's actually something I'd want to save. I'm just going to obviously change this so that you can see what I'm doing. So let's just say at this point, I'll go ahead and add one more node, and then this one, do one more change, let's say with my curves, there we go, there's a really ridiculous, really ridiculous grade, so you can see there, so let's say I want to save this grade, now I want to go ahead at this point and delete my first node, because that's what I was saying, is I'm going to assume that any clip I apply this grade to, I'm going to have already made these primary corrections so that trying to, no matter the color of the scene or the light of the scene or anything, I'm assuming that when I add this grade to whatever clip later on, I've already balanced it as well as I possibly could. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this first node, and you're going to see the shot changes drastically, and that's okay, because you're going to compensate for that when you apply this to whatever clip you apply this to, you're gonna you're gonna have already bounced the shot with that primary node. So now that I've deleted that first node, I'm gonna go ahead and right click and grab still. Actually before I do this, I wanna make sure to point out that over here in your gallery, that you're not on your stills one. These will just pertain to this one project. Which is okay if you want to just use this grade for that project you're in, but if you want to be able to use a grade for an, a variety of projects, or really any project, you want to go to Power Grades. And this way, anything you save into Power Grade is going to be here in any project. So I'm going to make sure I select a Power Grade over here, and I'm going to go ahead and right click, grab still. You can see, since I've got my Power Grade selected, I threw, threw it right in here. Go over to the gallery, you can see here that it's thrown it in here in my power grades, not in still zone and power grades. So now you can go ahead and name this. I'm gonna name it trash because I'm about to throw it away after I'm done with this. But let's just go back and let's go to this next clip over here. And I haven't done anything to this clip yet. So let's go ahead and bring my scopes up, go to my primary palette and balance the scene real quickly just to get the contrast we want, put a little saturation in it. So I'm going to consider this a primary, my main primary correction here. So at this point, in the way I work, the way the process that I'm 
using right now, at, this is the point where you'd go ahead and add your grade. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this trash guy we just made. And there's two things you can do. Well, there's more, but the two I'm going to point out are add correction, which is going to replace whatever's already in that node window. So I don't want that because I, I want it to go next to, to the right of what I've already made. So I'm going to do append node graph, which will keep what's up here and add this in sequence to it, as you can see. So now you look over here, and we've got this grade that I just made applied to this. I'm going to go ahead and delete those two, and I'm going to go and just show you. I'm going to try one of my random grades. I don't care. It might look good or it might look bad. I'm just going to show you. So down here, and I'm using, uh, let's see, purple, dusty, or what did I call it? Well, let's use American Wash. I'm going to go ahead. So I'm going to put select American Wash, right click, and remember to append node graph because I want it on top of my already corrected node. And there you go, you can see it through it in there. I didn't give it a lot of space so I could go in here by expanding and make it a little cleaner so I can tell what's going on. Anyway, and you can see the effect this had on it. And that's awesome. I mean, I think that's a really... I, I haven't tried that great on this shot yet, but this looks really cool. You know, which this point, and this, the cool thing about making your own grades is that at this point, say this is what you almost want, but not quite there. Well, it's just a matter of a new node. Maybe I want to take some of the green out of the highlights to make it a little more purple, or maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I want to take the blue out and make it less purple in the in the game. Anyway, you get the point. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching, y'all, and I'll make some more videos soon.